It was the moment when the student activism of the anti-Vietnam demos reached the beautiful city of Proust. I love the taste of Madeleines in the morning. The 68 of M. Moore, much discussed, much romanticized. But what were they really about? I mean, qu'est-ce que c'est? You can only truly know Paris on foot, as the great flaneur Baudelaire and Rambo proved. So we're off to get the view from the cobbles of that dramatic spring 50 years ago. First stop is the great University of the Sorbonne. Here, police clashed with students, including a young man called Henri Weber. Moi, j'étais dirigeant d'un des groupuscules, un groupe trotskiste. Vous avez ça en Grande-Bretagne aussi, mais ici, c'était un groupe trotskiste très sympathique. Il faisait incroyablement beau pendant tout ce mois euh, et euh, les filles étaient belles. Un des plus beaux mots d'ordre de mai 68 est « filles rouges, toujours plus belles ». La poésie fleurissait sur les murs, c'est les fameux slogans de mai. L'art était descendu dans la rue, l'amour était dans tous les coins euh, de la capitale euh, et euh, on réfléchissait au sens de la vie et à quel type de civilisation on pouvait désormais travailler. Henri led us through the Latin Quarter to a street corner where the youth of Paris came tête à tête with les gendarmes. Did the police still want to talk to you about it or are you in the clear now? No, no. I am a very good friend with a lot of ministres de l'intérieur. <laughs> That's why you can walk on the street and not the pavement. Alors regarde, regarde. Toute cette rue était pavée avec des pavés comme ça. These cobbles. Yeah. yeah. Tout, tout. Mais pour éviter que des événements comme mai 68 se reproduisent avec les barricades, les autorités ont goudronné toutes les rues. No report on May 68 is complete without philosophers. In fact, no report on France is complete without philosophers. And Agnes Poirier has studied what the intellectuals were thinking as the cobblestones flew. The philosopher Raymond Aron, who was the philosopher of the right, if you'd like, Jean Paul Sartre was the philo philosopher of the left, said every now and then the French, who are a very conservative um, society, need a general release. I mean, there was a trigger. The trigger was that at Nanterre University, the boys wanted to access the girls' dormitory. And um, when people don't know this, you know, they think, oh, of course, you French. That's the way you start revolutions. It was a great national unbuttoning. Politics was no longer for the politicians alone and art came out of the salon and into the street. Il y a eu une tendance dans la mémoire de 68 justement d'aller vers l'idée que c'était un mouvement hédoniste vers le plaisir, la libération sexuelle et qu'en fait on s'aperçoit rétrospectivement que c'est un moment de questionnement très fort. La majorité des affiches qui ont été produites dans cette école Euh, on, sont des affiches qui sont des affiches qui euh, soutiennent des grèves. It isn't only in the galleries that they're looking back 50 years. The events of May 68 are also exercising the imaginations of the most sensitive and highly strung artists in all of Paris, the chefs. Sacre bleu. It's heartthrob chocolatier Patrick Roger, the man who puts the bon into bonbon. Born in 1968, he's taken it upon himself to commemorate the events of that year as only he can. 
le, le pavé, c'est le symbole de mai 68. Hein. Et euh, je pense que si j'étais, si j'avais été dans la rue à ce moment-là, forcément, j'aurais aussi balancé des pavés. Donc tout ce qui va se passer, aussi bien en géopolitique, en éducation, tout a une incidence sur mon travail. Est-ce que vous voulez le goûter Yes, please. I'm getting base notes of tear gas and truncheon. J'aime Paris au mois de mai Quand les bourgeons renaissent And what about the youth of today? Are the students of Paris still revolting? We went to meet them at their Union HQ. L'homme qui prend le microphone, c'est le ouverte. Appel en cours. Well, it was after lunch. They'd been working very late the night before, we were told. It's different, like 50 years ago. Everything's changed. The relation between organization, students' organization and government, uh, the, the place of the young people in society, everything changed. Today, I can't imagine taking a rock and throwing it at policemen. Today we have an, we have other methods, negotiations, uh, media appearances that work, that really work. And so I think it's a brand new world. <laughs> <laughs> so was it sex, art, politics, freedom? In the end, there's an elusive je ne sais quoi about May 68. What did it all mean? Well, like the Chinese communist leader who was asked about the French Revolution, one can only reply, it's too early to say.